Welcome to today's Sedokan Saturday. Now we're going to move to the doubles. We did the single uh, kihon for the young Q, fourth Q level. Now on the, in addition to the singles, again, we have doubles. And later we're actually going to have triple combinations required for, for this level. Um, we've had doubles before, Kizan Mizuki, Yakuski. Uh, we can add punches, blocks, kicks. And we will always work combination movements, whether in standard karate style, as in kata, or whether in fighting combinations, we're always going to work those things. But again, I have specific ones required, and these are for the Yongkyu level, what I, what I require. The first, they're both an elbow strike followed by a back fist, but because of the trajectory, they are two separate techniques. So we have first, hiji uche, hiji uchi, or hijiate and biate, uraken, and I do that with a trap. Now we could do it without a trap and it would be empiate uraken, but as I use it with a trap, it's gonna be hiji uchi uraken. The second, so we're coming around, sorry, the first one still, I'm grabbing side of a head, trapping his head into my elbow, and then releasing his head as I snap out my back fist. Coming around, trapping the head, hit, back fist. This technique, as always, we're going to use in movement. So we can use it here in side horse stance. We can move in zenkutsudachi. We can move in shikodachi. We can move in nekoashidachi. Okay? Using all of our stances as we move forward and back, side to side, working different angles different stances, all with the same combination of strike. Second one, like unto it, is age hijiate, or hijiuchi, empiate, hijiuchi, riken. Now remember, ri, ken, and ura, ken, are the exact same kanji. To distinguish between hitting up and hitting out, or laterally versus vertically, horizontal versus vertical, I use different terminology, and that's pretty common in Shotokan, Japanese Shitoyu, other Japanese styles, which is where the nomenclature of karate came from. Remember on Okinawa, we really didn't have names of techniques. It was move your arm like this, which could be interpreted as 40 different possible applications. So, Age Hijuchi, Riken, rising elbow, downward back fist. And again, moving in our different stances. Neko ashidachi, zen kutsudachi, shikodachi, so forth, changing directions and angles. Elbow followed by back fist. When you're free fighting on the bag, I say when, assuming that you do, and I hope that you do, it's very common to just work punches, long range kicks, all this stuff. But every now and then, Get in and use what I might use in a close fight clinch position on in a public act of violence for someone to accost me or get all rowdy. I'm too nice. That never really happens. But if it were to happen, this is a lovely combination to have in your in your toolbox. Okay. Age hijiuchi riken, hijiuchi uraken. That's our techniques for the day. Not really going to do those on makiwara, mostly on the bag or in slow, uh, randori slow, free fighting, jukumite with a partner is a good place to practice these. After you've done standing, stancing, moving, and then application. Thanks for joining. Short, sweet, to the point. Those are our two techniques for our first two doubles. The next double techniques are going to be kicking combinations for the Young Q level. Like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Thanks, everybody, for joining. I have a separate channel called Kin Ko Shinkai, Kin Ko Shinkai, which means modern people training with the spirit of the old days or local neighborhood group depending on which interpretation you want to give it, they both apply. 
where I'm loading currently a lot of old videos that I'm transferring to MP format. So if you want to jump over there, some of those I'll put here as I deem them appropriate for the focus of this, this channel, but other more general stuff is all going to be on that King Pushing Guy, and I'll try to remember to put a link for that page down in the bottom. Thank you for joining. As always, until next week, keep practicing.